There are moments in your life when the universe will purposely slow you down with the intent to help you soak in and embrace an experience. Shantiga swallowed me whole, helping me remove the toxins of my life and create more room for my creativity and love. The grass, walking barefoot, the trees, the sunrise on our last day, the waning crescent moon, leaving the city to be surrounded by nothing but greenery and artists has opened me up, giving me the courage to reveal my true self and my hidden artistic abilities. I don't know what I can say. My heart is so full, all I can do is be here. I've honored so much. Sunlight, grass, the pond where I caught that frog. I wish I could bring him with me. I wish I could bring that moth with me. I wish I could bring that porcupine with me. My eyes are towards the sky. I can see the moon through the trees. I cried when I started walking the trail because I missed my family. But my sisters cloaked me with their love. I bring their love with me. Everything is connected. So am I. So are we. It's a peaceful journey leaving Shanagar. The vibe is bittersweet as newfound friends have to give their goodbyes at the parking lot. All my bags packed up and ready to go for the long van ride back to Northampton. It's there where we'll take the Port Authority bus. I begin reminiscing on my journey. I reminisce on my moments sharing a cabin with my friend Julian, where we went on adventures like killing mosquito and creating a vlog. I remember being ecstatic with him talking about TV shows and jamming out to indie music and cramming editing work with our friend Castrina while annihilating boxes of granola bars. I remember him sharing his story of leaving college and then starting a new LaGuardia, despite his strict parents. I remember relating to his story, having done the same, and hugging him. I reminisce on my moments with my friend Christina, who helped me organize during the trip. Me, her, and a few of our friends managed to make a movie in two days. We bonded over feeling imperfect with our art and decided maybe that's not a bad thing. I reminisce on editing with my squad all night, having healthy meals at the shed, and all the workshops and meditation we did with John claude Coming out of Shandigar, I feel nothing but gratitude, and I'm stuck with one question, when will I come back again? <laughs>